Hi everyone, it's an Omega Pen and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing another road test review, but this time around, this is going to be a eyebrow pen and it's from Shawil Cosmetics. And if you guys want to know what my thoughts about this, then keep on watching. Okay, so this is a, a new line from Shawil. Well, as far as I know, this is new to my eyes, so bago lang siya. And it has like this really nice packaging, gold packaging. Tapos, it is the coloring eyebrow from Shawil makeup line. And uh, it says at the back or at the, at the box, it says genuine to your skin for a long-lasting radiant beauty. Okay, so when I saw this at the counter, at uh, the shower counter, I immediately took one because I know this is new and I would love to take or to do a review on that. Plus, it is really cheap. I got it only for 188 pesos. There. And of course, syempre, tinry ko siya sa um, counter bago ko siya binili. And what I really like about the product is the packaging. Um, teka ha. Look at the packaging. This is really, really cute. How cute is that? Diba? Ang cute niya. Pink. Tapos meron siyang uh, lid na stripes. Pink and white. And the name of the product is at the uh, container itself. There you go. Okay, so what it claims for. Unique lasting formula with flexible strokes to create a comfortable, relaxed, and natural eyebrow stretch. Maintains natural looking results. So that's how it looks like. Now for the shade, I believe according to the sales lady, according to her, it only comes with one shade, uh, which is fine I guess because the shade is fairly um, neutral and I have it on my eyebrows right now and I just want to show you first how the pen looks like so I think yung tip niya para siyang pen type actually there okay and the shade um, actually nag swatch na ako kanina ayun yung shade niya uh, more on the natural side, but it's not brown. It's not reddish brown, but it's more on the um, blackish brown shade. So if you guys want to know how I applied it on my eyebrows, then keep on watching. Just a heads up, this is my first time to use this kind of pen. Never pa ako nakagamit ng ganitong klase ng pen before. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na pare-parehas natin hindi alam. So, ito siya kapag natuyo na. So, smudge, kind of smudge proof din naman. Hindi ko naman dididiin yung pag smudge pero somehow smudge proof siya. So, alright. So, let's try applying this on my bare um, eyebrows. So, pagpasensyahan nyo ng aking sparse eyebrows. Okay, so ito na yung eyebrows ko without anything on. I'm just gonna lightly fill this or fill, brush this um, hair strands to the right places. Kung saan talaga sila pupunta, kung saan nila gusto. And that's my baby. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, what I thought of doing on this review is to do two types. I'm gonna test this pencil alone on one side of my brows, itong sang brows ko, and dito sa kabila, I'm gonna put it on top of um, my eyebrows with pencil. So, titignan natin yung difference between the two. Kung pwede bang i-wear mo siya ng as it is, or it would be better to use it on top of like a pencil type. Pero, this is a good replacement siguro, as they claim. Um, at the back, wala naman siyang nilalagay or wala namang information masyado but I will show you guys later on how it looks like. So, let's start! So, I will start at the middle part of my eyebrows. I'm 
Lagyan ko na siya. Um, I will try to blend it in using yung spoolie. Tingnan natin kung masasoften ba niya. Hmm. Hindi ko talaga alam kung paano gawin to. Or paano mag-apply ng ganito. Kasi medyo nahirapan ako i-apply siya under or on the inner corners of my eyebrows. Kasi usually fini-feather out ko lang yung powder or pencil pagka ganun. Pero dito medyo challenging siya ng konti. Okay. Halatang halata na nag-line ako doon. So try kong isoften yung area na yan. But since smudge proof siya, medyo nahihirapan kayo. Okay. Pero so far, I'm liking yung finish niya sa eyebrows ko. Ayusin ko lang ng konti. Ayan, ayan siya. So, this is how the eyebrows looks like kung yung pencil lang or itong eyebrow pen lang ang gagamitin natin. And this is how my um, original eyebrow looks like without the pen. Okay. So, ang gagawin ko naman sa kabila, I'm gonna apply with my regular eyebrow pen first. Um, and then, I'll top it off with the pencil from Shawil. Finish filling in my eyebrows with uh, the eyebrow pencil that I usually use. And what I'm gonna do now is I will put the Shawil pen correcting or coloring eyebrow pen from Shawil on top of this. So I finished filling in my eyebrows using both methods and as of this time, parang mas nagustuhan ko siya when I use it on top of the eyebrow pencil that I usually use. Kasi mas na-intensify niya yung eyebrows, mas naging precise yung eyebrows, pero at the same time, soft pa rin siya as if it's not too drawn. And uh, comparing it to this side na yung Col col coloring. Coloring pencil lang ang ginamit natin. Medyo parang mas matapang yung dating niya sa akin, ha? Kasi, I preferred having my eyebrows a little softer than how my eyebrow color looks like. Hindi siya too dark, hindi rin siya too overly drawn. And I feel that this side is a bit drawn compared to this side na mas soft ang ang appearance niya. And at the same time, uh, medyo naging challenging para sa akin na gamitin yung pencil at, as it is and have it blended in a, such a way na seamless and um, hindi siya halatang I don't know, hindi halata na nag-eyebrow ka. Kasi medyo thin yung ano niya, thin yung application niya. And then mabilis siyang matuyo. So, mahirapan kang i-blend. Especially kung ang gusto mo is yung sa inner corners ng eyebrows is medyo faded yung appearance. Compared to this one, na ginamitan ko muna siya ng pencil, ginamitan ko muna siya ng pencil on uh, below before ko ginamit, ginamit, ginamit yung eyebrow pen or coloring pen from Shawil. Mas nagmukhang natural siya, pero mas maganda at mas precise yung application. Compared to eyebrow lang siya, um, medyo uh, parang sabog in such a way or hindi siya ganun kalinis tingnan. Compared to this one, malinis siyang tingnan, precise yung application, and then maganda rin siyang gamitin on the, on the tip of your eyebrows kasi um, yung pinaka-tip ng eyebrow mo, mas ma-achieve mo siya kasi mas thin at precise yung application nga no, using the brush nung um, shawel. Compared to eyebrow lang, like this, tapos medyo kailangan i-sharpen mo siya para makuha mo yung desired thin ng tip ng eyebrows mo. Then you can do it. Pero at the end of the day, it might not last that long. Ngayon, ang titignan na lang natin is yung longevity niya. 
um, nung, nung product for both um, methods, titingnan natin kung alin dito yung method na mas matagal gamitin yung or mas matagal magiging magandang tingnan yung eyebrows natin or yun nga, yung longevity niya um, with the kind of weather we have. Tapos, I will check with you guys later to see how it looks like. And the time now is 9 o'clock in the morning. Tada! Okay. So, tignan natin kung gaano katagal uh, magmumukhang maganda ang ating eyebrows at hindi ba siya matutunaw dahil sa init ang panahon ngayon. Tapos, yeah, I'll see you guys on my first check-in. Hi everyone! I'm back and this is my first check-in with you with the eyebrow pencil that we are testing from Shawil and it's already 1.51 in the afternoon and it's roughly around 5 hours nung in-apply natin itong um, brow pencil or brow pen ito from Shawil and let's see how the, found the foundation let's see how the pencil um, is as of now na almost 5 hours na in-apply natin siya sa ating eyebrows and kung may difference ba. Alright, so this is the closest that I can get my camera, my lens. And let's talk about the side muna na pen, itong pen lang na to ang ginamit natin. And so far, hindi siya nag-smudge, hindi siya nalusaw, at ganoon pa rin siya as how we applied it this morning. Wala siyang shiny effect, although oily yung skin ko. Um, sometimes kasi nagkakaroon ng oily effect din dun sa area ng eyebrows ko kapag um, brow pencil lang ginamit ko. Pero with this, hindi siya nagkaroon ng kahit anong shiny um, or oiliness. And if meron man, hindi siya, hindi nalusaw yung pencil, which is good. Um, on this side naman na uh, may pencil underneath nitong eyebrow pencil underneath nitong uh, coloring pen na to from Shawil. It looks the same pa rin, although kanina bago ko nag-touch kasi no touch up na ako eh. I was doing a review on a uh, on a foundation and napansin ko dito kanina shiny tong area ng eyebrows ko compared to dito kasi um, nag-peak through yung ano yung yung oiliness ko dun sa eyebrow pen na ginagamit ko or eyebrow pencil na ginagamit ko from uh, ano nga bang brand nun? yun basta doon um, I think it's from um, Pinky's Collection and nag-shiny siya ng konti although nakatulong pa rin tong pen na to na ma-maintain niya yung shape ng eyebrows ko after 5 hours and that's a really really nice sign for me and uh, sa ngayon titingnan pa rin natin kung hanggang saan ang kaya nitong eyebrow pencil na ito or eyebrow coloring pen na ito uh, sa isang oily skin na katulad ko <laughs> alright so I will check on you guys in just a few minutes hi everyone I'm back and this is gonna be my second and last uh, check in with you guys about this review and uh, yeah I must say first and foremost I'm very very pleased with the performance of this product actually nagulat ako hindi ko siya expect to be really honest with you na um, magla last siya ng ganito katagal and as you guys can see hindi man lang nagbago yung eyebrows ko for the entire day ang dami kong ginawa and still pinagpawisan ako and still anjan pa rin siya mukha pa rin siyang perfect it looks exactly the same as how I applied it early this morning and sobrang bilib ako sa kanya actually however a few things that I've noticed or I've noted uh, number one the shade I mean I have no issues with the shade that I got however since it is only available available uh, with one shade, I don't know if a lot of people will be able to fit into this shade. However, I do understand and I do believe that um, this is a Filipino local brand. And although it's not sure here in the Philippines, but uh, I think it was tailored fit. Uh, to the Filipina 
um, Filipinas out there or like me na ganito yung shade na gina ginamit nila. But I think it is really like a general kind of color. It's not, it doesn't have any uh, red undertones on it. So I think it's really, really perfect for your eyebrows. Um, that's one. Number two, it could be a little bit pricey for some, but 188 pesos is really reasonable. Number three, yung pen type niya, if you shake it, you would hear something like there, diba? Parang may narinig kang kakaiba dun sa, sa loob ng pen, but I'm not so sure what that is. Does it bother me? No, pero I don't know with others, but yun lang yung napansin ko. Um, what else? I must also say na mas preferred ko siyang gamitin above or with um, an eyebrow pencil or powder underneath bago mo siya gamitin kasi mas nafe-feel niya yung sparse compared to ito lang. Kasi itong pa pencil na to, maganda siyang gamitin to create um, an illusion. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, mas magandang gamitin tong product na to to create illusions of hair strands. If you really have like severe or if you want to create like a different um, eyebrow shape. Pero as it is, using it alone would be nice. Pero if, well, personally speaking, mas gusto ko siyang gamitin um, underneath or above the eyebrow pencil that I use. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys on my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!